You've got three variations of the overhand here. You've got your standard looping overhand. So if Mark gives me the jab, and then the overhand comes over the top. Kind of about 45 degrees over the top and downwards. You can experiment with your hand position. Some people say thumb down, some people say knuckles down. Just see what works for you when you hit the pad. Always trying to hit with your two biggest knuckles. Of course, it gives me the jab and then the overhand. Good. If I'm still there, one that wants to uh, light me back up, so you're going to go jab overhand, uppercut, cross, hook. Okay? So the uppercut is designed to lift me back up. So let's say you crack me on the head with the overhand, bang, I'm kind of dipping down. The uppercut's going to lift me up and then it's going to put me right in straight in front for that cross and the hook. So the whole combination would be a jab, looping overhand, uppercut, cross, hook. Okay? Nice and tight, nice and small, elbows down. He likes to flap his elbows this one. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got big lats. Keep your elbows down on your punches because it uh, reduces the chances of me seeing them and working out the counter. So he gives me the jab, the looping, after cross, yeah, nice. And as small as possible with your punches, especially flurries and follows up. So up cut, cross hook, nice and small, nice and tight. That's better, okay? You don't want to wind up your punches. The reason why you don't want to do that is when you get into the ring or the cage when you're fighting later on, you're always going to be between 25 and 50% more wild than you are in the gym. So if Martin's throwing a nice up cut cross hook, nice and small here, when it comes to the fight, it's going to be a little bit there. It's going to be wider. Now, that's just because of adrenaline and stress and fighting and it's scary. If he's training in the gym and he's doing his up cut cross hook wide, <laughs> when he gets to fight night, it's going to be all over the shit. Yeah, it's going to be windmilling. So we call this micro punching. He wants to make everything nice and small and nice and technical and correct as possible in the gym, drill, drill, drill. Knowing that when he gets to the fight, he's going to be a little bit wilder and that's just human nature. So let's look at the combo again. He's going to give me the jab, the looping overhand, up the cross, nice and small, back up again please. Jab, looping overhand, up the cross, 